What would the paranormal be without hauntings? Well, it'd be a lot more normal, I guess. Today we're going to be covering five hair-raising hauntings captured on camera. But before we get started today, I'd like to ask you to share this video with somebody who might need a little spooky pick-me-up. Alright, without further ado... This video is brought to us by TikTok user Will Gardner, and in this video, this is CCTV footage from a bridge where somebody loses control of their car and then sadly loses their life in the accident. Immediately after this car crashes, we see a truck drive by, and what's on top of the truck is why I'm showing you this video. What looks to be on top of the truck would be the Grim Reaper, or some kind of hooded figure, which this is not set up or staged in any way. This vehicle crashes, a truck continues down its route, and this figure spotted on the truck on a camera. I don't think this is fake. It may not be the Grim Reaper, but this is definitely something paranormal. I don't have any other explanation. You have to see this. The Grim Reaper may have actually been caught on camera. So this video I'm about to play is coming out of El Salvador, where there have been recent reports of paranormal manifestations accompanying tragic events. Some paranormal investigators say that this was the angel of death caught on camera. Watch this. In this video, you can see the moment that a driver loses control of their vehicle, crashes through a guardrail, and ends up in a ravine. The accident resulted in the death of the driver. Now this is the strange part. Moments after the car crashes, a truck passes by, and on this truck, you can see a dark humanoid figure standing and seemingly observing the car crash. Paranormal investigator Caesar Sagath believes that this was the angel of death, who is cited in parts of the Bible, and who he says is responsible for transporting souls to the spiritual world. Number two. This video is brought to us by TikTok user UFO.saw, and in this video we have what seems to be a stretcher lifting its head on its own. Now take it from somebody like me who's worked in medical before, 95% of these stretchers need two hands to lift on the bar behind the head to lift them up like this. They don't just raise up on their own. And even if there was a hydraulic issue, they don't go up as quickly as this. And honestly, these things have a long lifespan, so personally, I don't think this was a coincidence or equipment failure. I think this was legit. <laughs> This video is brought to us by TikTok user Epic Paranormal, and in this video you have to pay close attention to the right corner of the screen here, because if you don't, you're going to miss what's happening. In the zoomed in shot, we can see what seems to be a transparent figure, possibly a shadow person, run into frame, look at the end of the staircase, and then run out of frame. And videos like this that are pulled off a security camera, of something that is definitely transparent, it's really hard to argue. If I had to guess, this is most likely an intelligent haunting, but I'll let you guys be the judge of that. Personally, I can't really argue with what I'm seeing here. Maybe somebody edited it really good and there's a person wearing maybe a black morph suit that's transparent, but I don't feel like that's the case. I feel like this is genuinely a haunting, and it's a pretty damn good one caught on camera. Share your opinion down below. Watch closely. The entity looks to be only three feet tall at first. Let's enlarge the video. Watch it hover over to the step stop, and then glide back over. Motion detection goes off again, but this time, the entity has changed its form. Let's enlarge the image again. It now appears to be mimicking the shape of a human, possibly carrying something in its right hand. Would you stay the night here alone, and call out to the Shadow Man? Leave a comment now and let me know what you think. Number four. This video is brought to us by TikTok user Horror Video. Now I just want to note here, the part you're watching now is sped up five times its normal speed. We have somebody exploring an abandoned building in China when they start to kind of call out to a spirit. The spirit doesn't really like that and it starts to react. Again, it's not guaranteed that this is a ghost because we don't actually see what's causing the noise, but 
It's hard to say for certain. I thought it was interesting enough I would include it on this list. Like I said, it was just really, really long. I didn't want to sit here and bore you through it twice, so I sped it up. We never get a clear view of what's throwing stuff at them. It's allegedly a ghost, but it's not hard to have somebody stay off of camera view and throw things down at you after you start shouting. Personally, I don't know. Take a look for yourself here and decide. This video is brought to us by TikTok user Leighton Ghost Emoji. This video is a handful of encounters strung together that Leighton has filmed firsthand in his what seems to be a haunted flat. And we see various things from chairs being moved to blinds being opened to the TV being turned off to lights being turned off. So off the bat we can say this is an intelligent haunting. It may be downright even a poltergeist. Regardless, whatever it is, it's kind of a dick. It's trying to get Leighton out of there, obviously. Now granted, people can fake things with loosening light bulbs and having chairs pulled on by string, but how do you get the entire set of blinds to turn like that? I don't have an answer for this. And the spirit only gets nastier with Leighton after he threatens to have the priest come and banish it. So, yeah, intelligent, possible poltergeist. Got ya. Fucking hell, lad. Whoa! Fuck that, guys. I'm out. Whoa, I don't fucking think so. Move! 
Whoa, guys, that's fucking getting spooky. What the fuck am I going to do now? Fucking go over there. Is anyone getting... Okay, there's a priest coming next week. I've had enough, you little bastard. There's a priest coming next week. Break them fucking blinds and you're gone tonight. Little shit. I'll ring the fucking priest. Whoa, that's not good. Obviously, I'll, I'll just send it straight. Yeah, it's all today. Fuck off. I've had fucking enough. Finally. Put the fucking telly back on. Bad enough. Fuck. Fuck that. What the fuck, guys? I'm fucking shaking now. I service left. Got you. Right, it's just gone off. Do not like that's the first time for that. Not a bit like that one. Got ya. Well my spooky compadres, that's the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it half as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And if you did enjoy today's video, may I ask you to leave me a comment, hit that like button, click the share button and share this with three friends who need a spooky pick me up. And of course, if you haven't already done so, clicking the subscribe button and ringing the bell so you can stay up to date with my latest videos. I post shorts daily and new videos every Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And if you do these things and help me out, maybe I can post them seven days a week. Either way, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.